All right, guys, welcome to the Anne Arundel County Fair. It's Thursday, 12 o'clock. We're here, I'm not sure anybody else is, but our first order of business is to take some of these logs and get them a little bit squared up before we do any cutting. So let's get going. All right, let's cut this guy off here and trim him up and get ready to mill him anyway. Now somebody might ask, and rightfully so, what was I thinking cutting a big chunk like this off of this log? Because how are we going to move it? Well, you'll see later we have to cut it in a little bit smaller chunks. And the next one, I cut little cookies off of it anyway. So we smartened up a little bit. Well, I don't know about if I smartened up, but we made it easier. So this log's a little bit bigger than it looks. Actually, it's not that big. But Phil convinced me to cut little cookies off this so we can move them a whole lot easier. The cookies still weigh 50, 70 pounds each. Nah, maybe 40 pounds each. They're heavy. And we're old, so it's a whole lot easier to move them if I cut smaller pieces. So we whacked away a little bit smaller pieces. Yeah. Well, I wanted to square it off. Uh, the nine foot frame yeah, that's kind of what well, I was looking at. Yeah. We just had this discussion. Over length has its advantages, but well, I think so. Well, I only wanted eight foot. If we want eight foot boards, we cut it eight foot six lumber. That's so why I bring eight foot six logs. Generally, yes. Generally. Okay. Um, Damn, the way this thing cuts, why don't we just put you up there? You just cut it lengthwise. Well, the problem is the problem it. with that is you know is ripping. Yeah. It ain't the same with a chainsaw. You know, it doesn't. They don't rip well. Those in the woods, Phil? Hmm? You throwing them in the woods? He's no, they're put, not going that far. He's going to put them on his praise and take them home. So I think we're about ready to start cutting wood here pretty soon. We'll get our Sawyer. Gary's going to be our Sawyer. Phil, Pete, and Tom. This is Tom's logs here, some poplar logs. Random width, one by six or something. That's not true. One inch thick wood, four quarter. So I think we'll start up this engine and get her going. So this engine is a GM diesel engine. It's a two cycle engine. It's a model 4-71. Previously it was called a Detroit diesel, but apparently General Motors bought out Detroit diesel engines. It's rated at 155 horsepower at 2100 RPM. It has four cylinders in it, they're 71 cubic inches each. It has 284 cubic inches displacement, or 4.7 liters. It's a great engine, it's supercharged, how cool is that? It runs well and it powers this saw up like crazy. The blade's dull, we need to sharpen it, but it just tears right through everything. It's just awesome. Okay, well here's the first log of the year for this saw first log in 12 months. Sawmill only operates four days a year for three or four logs each day at the most. We looked at the blade. The blade's a little bit rusty on the outside. It's not exactly sharp. We need to sharpen it, but it's a soft poplar. 
so we'll see how it goes. We've got Gary as our sawyer today, and clearly the saw is cutting very, very well. For every five logs we bring to this sawmill, one gets turned into sawdust. And if you look carefully, we have a very different way of getting rid of sawdust here than we do at uh, the park where we operate at. We use a drag line assembly, and it's kind of cool. I really like it. I'll show you a few more details in a second. But if you look inside the red circles there, or oblongs, whatever you want to call them, you'll see a chain which is moving continuously every time the saw moves. And what that does is it scoops up maybe a cup or two cups of sawdust every time, and it takes away all the sawdust and creates a big sawdust pile. It only runs when the saw is running, which I really like. You don't need to turn it on and off like the hay elevator we use. Um, so it seems to be a pretty good system, very, very common in, in sawmills. It doesn't look like it'll do much or do a very effective job, but it works fantastic. Um, so here's a little bit different view of this drag line assembly. I took it a couple hours after we started this thing, so it's getting dark out. But as you can see, I drag sawdust out. It's a very, very simple system. And all it does is it just keeps pulling a little bit of sawdust away and the sawdust falls into there. If you look carefully up there, you'll see a differential from a car. Somebody told me it was a Datsun or Toyota. But I tell the fairgoers that it's from a Model T Ford because that's kind of meets the error. But that little drive shaft drives the drag line and it just does a great job. All right, well that's one log out of the way for the three we want to get done today. Um, it's poplar, it's kind of a squirrely looking log, but actually it's creating some really nice boards. All right, well here we have Gary and Phil loading up the second log. If you take a look at this log, it's kind of squirrely looking. It's not very straight. And I've already cut off probably three feet of it to straighten it out. But Matt, Gary, and Phil got it loaded up and we'll strain it out but it's just going to have a whole lot more slab wood than other logs do. Ideally a sawmill would never take this log but one of the local farmers brought it and we said sure we'll cut it and make boards for him. So put it on the carriage, get it going and make some well, make some lumber. There you go. Alright so what's your name buddy? Reese May. What is it? Reese May. Reese May. That's a good name and you like engines and motors and stuff right? Yep. So this engine here We'll take a look at this thing. This is like 60 or 70 years old. It's old, probably older than your parents and me. It's a Detroit diesel. You know where Detroit is? Illinois, made in America. And it's a diesel engine. It's, you know a lot about cars? This one's supercharged. So it means it's fast. For its time, it's a fast engine because it's supercharged. And it's a two cycle engine, which. So you'll hear it when it starts up um, since it's two cycle because a two cycle engine doesn't suck in enough air on its own. So to make these work right, they put a supercharger on them. And like, really, this is like 50s technology, but that's what they did. And if you think about it, all the, all the aircraft and all the engines in World War II, they were all supercharged. I mean, these guys were like, they're brilliant. So, and it starts up really quickly. So, are you ready, buddy? Ready, Reese? Here it goes. Ready, guys? Ready. ready. Me too. Cool or what? <laughs> yes, that was very cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> you said this one was made in Illinois? Um, Detroit. 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 The engine was made in Detroit. The actual, the, so the sawmill was made in Waynesboro, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. And they've been making them for like 80 years That's or something like that. And actually you make steam engines and steam tractors. Yeah, like, what the heck? So we'll be cutting wood. I don't know. It wasn't clear to us what time the fair even opens. And it said... They close at weird times and open What's weird that time? all about? No idea. We don't either. I just, so it's like... like I'm only here for a couple hours. Like I gotta leave in an hour. So you have to leave in an hour? Yeah. Maybe we'll run it to, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's like, if enough people come by, but like, I, I don't. That is a, We're just oh, that's a supercharger. Side-mounted supercharger. Side-mounted supercharger, yep. Okay, so that threw it, me off. So it's gear-driven, it's gear-driven. and Oh, it's a gear-driven supercharger, absolutely. not belt? No, 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 no. This, this is old school. This stuff's just meant to, these engines were in old buses, old, 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 you know, road graders and stuff. And you hear it running, it sounds like it's running really fast. It's not because it's a two cycle engine. Mm -hmm. And like that's what's cool about it. So like, most people don't know what you mean a two cycle engine. So he first told me that it can't be a two cycle engine. So a two cycle would be what? Gas and oil? So no, well traditionally a chainsaw, like my chainsaw is a two cycle engine. Okay, you mix gas and oil. You. Hey, thanks for stopping by, okay? Yep, take care. Awesome. Is but this actually is a regular internal combustion engine. It has a crankcase, it has an oil pressure and all that stuff. Um, but it runs at twice the RPM. So it sucks in air and fuel and then bang so it's two different instead of suck squeeze bang blow which is what a four cycle does suck in air squeeze it blow it you know what i mean bang and blow it's just suck in air squeeze it blow it you know what i mean it's two two suck two instead of four so kind of cool So this turns out to be a really nice log. It's maybe 10 foot long, but it's relatively round um, and it squares up nicely. So we get a really nice block of wood out of a nice cant and Gary can very quickly make big boards for this guy. So we take care of it pretty quick and this is the second log for the day. And then we get on to the last one, but it's getting late and uh, we still have one more log to do. So one thing we noticed is this saw has apparently 50% more power than the one we operate on a weekly basis. This thing is unstoppable and you can really increase the feed rate a lot. So this goes through these logs very, very quickly. Now the lead at the saw that we operate normally on a weekly basis was wrong. So we're wasting a lot of horsepower. We're fixing that. But this saw is set up nicely and it's very, very efficient and try doing this with your little circular saw at home. Good luck. So Gary's got a nice cant here. Cant being the rectangular piece of wood which used to be a log now it's relatively rectangular and he's whipping through this now anybody that's never done this before Gary's job is probably the most difficult job here it's physically somewhat demanding because he also rolls these logs but he's really got to focus and pay attention because he's ultimately responsible 
for the safety of the sawmill and everybody operating it. So he's got to pay attention to where everybody is, make sure the dogs, the little things that jab into the wood, where they are, and make sure that this mill operates efficiently and as safely as possible. So he's really got to focus and pay attention. He makes it look easy because he's done it pretty well. He's done it a number of times. Well, the reality is it is a difficult job. It's physically demanding and it requires 150% concentration. So I'm going to let this run through while Gary cuts the rest of this cant at its normal pace just so you can get a good idea of how quickly this saw makes sawdust and cuts these big boards. So these boards are at least 12 inches wide and as you can see the saw doesn't slow down one bit.
So Gary's here sawing the last log of the evening. We started this about 7 o'clock at night, a little bit later than we wanted to. But it's Thursday night, and the fair, in our county at least, gets going around 6 o'clock or so on the Thursday nights. So we'll do a little bit of cutting here. We end up finishing this up when it's dark outside. And trust me, everyone is really tired because this is physically takes a little bit of work to do. So we're complaining the next day, but we got it done and everyone went home safe. So that's the important thing. If you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, tell your buddies, tell your dogs, tell your cats, subscribe, do all the things you're supposed to do to make more people watch this. Thanks so much. And leave a comment. Tell me how to make these better. Have a great day, guys. So it takes another 20 minutes to finish making boards out of this log. Normally, I'll just delete some of this stuff or I fast forward through it because we've done it a couple times before and who wants to watch this? But some of the comments, you guys have said, yeah, you want to just watch us do the work. So I'm going to let this thing run out. So if you don't want to watch it, go on to the next video. But if you do, we've got 20 more minutes of us finishing this guy up. And uh, of course, it's dark by the time we're done. And we are tired. We're trying to be careful about it, but it's heavy lifting, heavy work. But we get the job done, and we get it done safely. Again, thanks for watching.